Hi everybody, this is Rosa Sharon and I'm back again with another book review. This is called Shakespeare's Sonnets Retold. Classic love poems with a modern twist. Shakespeare and James Antony. And this is really quite funny. I like this part. It, uh, the lines themselves are somewhat borrowed from one of my favorite plays, which is Macbeth. But there are two versions of this poem, and I'm going to go ahead and read as a sonnet. I'm going to go ahead and read it. As an unperfect actor on the stage, who with his fear is put beside his part, or some fierce thing replete with too much rage, whose strength abundance weakens his own heart, so I, for fear to trust, forget to stay the perfect ceremony of love's right, and in mine own love's strength seem to decay, or in charge it with burden of mine own love's might. Oh, let my looks then be eloquence, as dumb presagers of my speaking breast, who plead for love and look for recompense, more than that tongue that more hath more expressed. Oh, learn to read with silent love hath writ, to hear with eyes belongs to love's fine wit. See, just the, the, the word play, the rhyming, it's, it's absolutely stunning. It's perfect. Just like, and this is another version of it, just like a nervous actor on the stage who soon forgets the lines he has rehearsed, or like an angry man red-faced with rage, whose endless fury leaves his heart dispersed, so I will fumble words, scared of rejection, as I declare my love is pure and true. This pressure leads to words of imperfection. I buckle from my weight of love for you. Forgive my words, my face can do the talking, trying to make my heart be understood. As my heart seeks the heart of yours, it's stalking, expressing more than speaking ever could. So learn to read the signs that love can make. Your eyes will spot my love that's yours to take. <laughs> I'm so schmaltzy. I just adore things like that. I've I've written poems myself. Writing poetry is, and actually rapping is more difficult to me than writing poetry because with rap, it's all about flow. And if you're a white girl and... Um, <laughs> And the burbs, I've got rhythm. Yes, I do, but flow is something that you you learn, or either you're born with, but you can learn it. You can improve it over time just like anything else. And you just have to remember the subdivision of that rhythm, whatever time it may be. You can go slow, you can go fast, you can do syncopation, just, just like with a regular song. And that's what poetry really is, or the sonnets, or the quatrains that Shakespeare wrote. And interestingly enough, it says that he actually published them in 1609, which was the latter part of his career. And it's stated by some of the scholars that know the bard's work well that the sonnets weren't really meant to be published due to the intimate nature of the sonnets themselves. So it's still an unsolved mystery as to whether he did or not. And of course, if you've seen the movie Anonymous, which I adore, it, um, it speaks of the fact that maybe Sir Francis Drake was the one who had published these works and it wasn't William Shakespeare, or maybe William Shakespeare was a pseudonym Scholars don't really have evidence of this. Uh, there's a lot of contention between people who have studied the Bard time in, for time in memoriam. Uh, but that's another point of contention, and I don't think they'll ever solve it. But nevertheless, I still think that it's a really good book. It's extremely well written. The poetry's grand and there are some things in it that will make you giggle if you're like me and you expect Elizabethan English, not modern day English, but it actually makes it uh, more digestible and understandable. It's, it's layman's terms, so to speak. It's like taking a document written in, entirely in legalese and then boiling it down to just really, really easy to understand 
straightforward English so people can actually read it and comprehend. It's, yeah, I mean, I took Shakespeare when I was in college, so it's nothing new for me. It was because it was required, but I, lo I loved, I loved it. Um, I had a fantastic professor. I got a B plus. I was just, I, I rocked out in that course. <laughs> and then I took a sci-fi course from him and I found a movie called Free Enterprise and <laughs> I'm gonna go off on a tangent again, but um, he liked it. They had a, a really good song about um, Xanadu and of course it starts with just a little bit of the poetry from it, you know, and Xanadu did Kubla Khan, a pleasure dome did decree. You know, that's the only part I remember of it. It's sad but true. Sort of like um, Tiger Tiger burning bright in the forest of the night. No and a mortal eye can frame thy flawless symmetry. I paraphrase. It can frame thy fearful symmetry. Excuse me, I'll correct myself. I think that's uh, Blake, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember who wrote that. But that one, that, uh, that's actually one of my favorite poems. That's why I remember it. Because I saw a tiger at the zoo, and I, I had to re recite it to my friend. He wasn't familiar with... Um, with tiger so I just thought this is the perfect time and when you see tiger you can understand why William actually wrote that but I'm going all over the place and I'm sorry uh, if you're like me you enjoy Shakespeare pick it up it's a, a quick and easy read and very very enjoyable so I leave you until next time live on prosper shout out to tea